So, <laughs> do you remember the biggest single check you ever got for an event? Yeah, and I'm gonna say it was like 169 grand. Um, <laughs> what a feeling to go to your bank and, and yeah, like, and I but, gotta put in perspective to say <laughs> years worth of most people's salaries, and they'd be like, "This is this is my check for the week." So I, I, uh, this goes to show you how financially uh, illiterate. <laughs> illiterate I am. I bought a Cadillac Escalade with a, with a pay-per-view check. I went and bought an Escalade off the showroom floor, the new, uh, the new Escalade. Oh, no, I'm sorry. My wife bought an Escalade. I bought the Lincoln Navigator. Yeah, Let me get this straight. She had an Escalade. I had the Navigator. <laughs> Navigator's like a big fat man special car um like cosa nostra you know so I, so i love that so i sold that truck and uh turned it in or excuse me i sold that suv to back to the to the company and bought a new truck and got like big tires on it but they put that uh navigator back out on the uh you know how some car lots like have a rock pile with like yeah. a car on top of it out front yeah. like they put the navigator like out there so every time i drove to the airport i would see my old navigator sitting up there so i literally pulled back through and rebought it again oh uh, <laughs> and so i ended up paying about a hundred six thousand dollars for the same navigator <laughs> wow but i it was you know what that's it just goes to show i didn't man i didn't know i didn't know it was gonna end <laughs> i didn't know it was gonna you know and, and, and they just kept coming and like it was like woohoo um and then they stopped one day <laughs> all right let's bring it back to some wrestling and the Boo. next week raw comes from san diego <laughs> and it's a taped episode was there any difference between going live and being taped for you or it didn't matter so it didn't matter for for us performing um but we did know if we bought something bad we could do it again if you give them a strong edit point you know what i mean and so uh scott hall look we were we were good at that at that time scott was was the best at it that would literally just look at the camera and go take two and do it again you know and uh if you give a good edit point you'd never never tell that so it was we tried to nail it every time so we weren't really resting on our laurels with oh well we can correct it if we mess it up no you get it right the first time we won't have to correct it you know and so we were always kind of running and gunning under that uh line of thinking fast forward to the future and the covid era of nxt tapings what did you think oh. of the no audience moments where we would stop down reset bring back the footage yeah. and try to make that happen it yeah. was wild it was very difficult uh, um and and Truth be told, now that you look back and you see where they're at now, we probably didn't have to do any of that. We were, it was probably okay uh, to, to make some mistakes, but it was very difficult to, and because we would have to look back and get the talent in the same. I guess, no, man, you do it, it breaks the flow of everything, yeah. and it's you can tell uh, when you're watching, like there's just different energies. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like that part. I didn't like doing that.